なんて大嫌いですさてと日曜嫌いなのかよーらばすじー、スクービードン<笑> Oh, sorry, I, I must have had something stuck in my throat there. What is going on, my gravy bambinos? It's me, I saw a Productions, back in Empire Total War. Funnily enough, I wasn't going to make another video on Empire just yet, but there was something that you guys pointed out that I didn't actually notice that I thought, yeah, I, I gotta try this out. But before we start, let me do my try annual shill out and let you guys know that I have a whole bunch of merch available on my website down below. If you want to get some, pick some up right now. I'm trying to sell out as much as I can so I can actually get some new stuff in over summer and chances are I'm probably gonna be end up retiring a whole bunch of this stuff like the Denmark is not real hoodie the Belgian lives matter flag and the booby mouse pad but if guys if you want to go ahead and support it link in the description down below but yeah today guys I'm gonna be playing Great Britain <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing Great Britain. At least not today, because today we gotta do something a little bit special. Yar, matey! I have no idea how they did that so long. My, my throat hurts just from doing it twice now. So, funnily enough, we're actually not much of a nation. We're just a couple of guys on a couple of islands, drinking a lot and having a whole bunch of fun. But we're gonna change that, because in Empire Total War, we have three theatres to pick from. We've got America, we've got Europe, and we have India. So we have so much room to do so much pirating i don't even know where to begin imagine though we should probably get all of our navies which are scattered around the whole world right now and bring them back home because we could just use them for raiding but i kind of want to raid on a grander scale first off we kind of got to understand where we are in the world we own a few little provinces a few islands and we don't really have much in the way of goods anything by the looks. I oh, know, my bad. Uh, we do have Captain Jack Sparrow, which makes me think this mod's gonna get a cease and desist very soon. Oh, that's pretty cool. We can actually get some historical pirate ships built, which is, uh, I say cool. I'd still rather blow my brains out than do a naval battle. Now, obviously, being pirates, we don't really have a knack for talking to people diplomatically. So, um, we're at war with the entire world, and we can't change that. That's just how it's gonna be. Oh, we only spotted a British ship right there, and I think it's time we get our mega navy here to actually uh, go see what we're up against, eh? And uh, don't worry, I'm not fighting a naval battle as my first battle in this game. Go, go jump off a cliff. Oh, that's the thing. Uh, apparently, we're just too stupid to do any research, which I guess kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So a ragtag bunch of guys who are ready to take over the world is just a whole bunch of naked guys and Johnny Depp. Fairly certain there's a Tim Burton movie about that. Oh. Oh, well, I did the uh, demand surrender on the French and they actually accepted, which means we've now grown. That's right, boys. We're, we're gonna be big one day. Oh, so I can't do diplomacy, but people can still do diplomacy with me. And Sweden wants a peace treaty for 5.1k? Uh, no. Ah, it's so easy to take these islands. There's literally nothing to stop me but a few pikemen and some armed citizens. My infantry, quite literally, is just a bunch of naked guys that don't even have shoes, just a pair of tatted racks for trousers and some flintlock muskets. That's all I need, baby. At least, uh, I didn't bring pikes to this battle. That's, uh, that's definitely a positive. Jesus, I keep knocking these pikemen out of the damn stadium, but they just keep coming back. Although, uh, I, I, I don't think they'll be coming back from this one. Oh, my Captain Jack Sparrow unit, though, actually have some clothes, and they look semi-decent. They're, they're not exactly the most disciplined guys, or, you know, the best dressed, or any sort of, like, military s. They're just a bunch of guys wearing the exact same outfit and shooting guns, which, you know, is all I could ask for. Oh, my God. It's... Is that supposed to be Johnny Depp? <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. I'm sorry, who turns up to the battle with a flute? Well, I think it's safe to say that even though we lack clothes on our back, we definitely have way bigger balls than the Dutch do. <laughs> I lost eight guys. Eight guys! I thought the Dutch were bad, bringing pipe men. Spanish brought archers! <laughs> you know what? At least we're in our own league here. Oh, never mind. They also brought a cannon. You bring a cannon and archers. Truly the best setup. Who would win? Millennia old technology known as the bow and arrow or just some explody boys? Well, I think that definitely settles it. Oh, look. 
the Danish fleet. Or should I say, that was the Danish fleet. You know, ever since Sweden sent me that peace offer, I've been a little bit insulted. So I've decided to come all the way to Norway to show them how it's done. Oh my god, it is completely pitch black. You know, it does kind of fit the pirate aesthetic, but at the same time, it does not fit my aesthetic because I can't see diddly squat. Yeah, uh, it's safe to say that the Swedish army is not feeling too good right now. Yeah, I don't think they're expecting me to just, you know, travel a few thousand miles to come get them. Yeah, I don't think Mr. Werner is going to be feeling too good after that one. But it is time for our first official conquest, that being Norway. Welcome to the Pirate Empire. Oh, usually when you take a province and empire, they, they completely hate you. But Norway absolutely loves me. I guess anything's better than Sweden. There you go. Still fighting the Swedes. This time I've just resorted just to constantly throwing grenades at them. But they keep coming back. They're never going to learn their lesson here. So a lot of the infantry I can build is actually like swordsmen and melee infantry. So every time I launch them at the enemy, they just sort of break. They can't really figure out why there's a bunch of homeless people running at them with pointy sticks. And while they're figuring that out, I just throw grenades at them. Safe to say it is uh, it's definitely working a charm. Although the, the poor swordsmen, they do take quite quite the beating half the time. You ever think you held a grudge? Just imagine the fact these pirates just travelled, you know, hundreds of miles across the ocean just to drop in Stockholm because Sweden had the audacity to offer them peace. Oh my god. Sweden had a school. We're clever! We can research! Kind of loses the pirate charm though, not being a brainless idiot running around with a sword. So we took out Sweden in Finland, which was an easy feat. And as soon as we did that, the Russians moved in up here in uh, <laughs> in the north, which is, isn't that great. Yeah, you just got to remember, I am at war with quite literally everyone. So as soon as I take one province, uh, some Danish drummers appear out of nowhere and try to stick it in my rectum. But don't worry, we'll make it even for them. Although it isn't that great that in Empire you don't actually have the pill. Uh, option when you take over settlements. You can burn them down, but it's just not the same. Okay, uh, hold on a quick second there. Why does the Iroquois Confederacy own Iceland? <laughs> Can someone explain? You know, I thought that was the weirdest thing, but the Dutch just went full Napoleon, took Paris, and a little bit of Germany. Excuse me? Okay. What? Why does Britain own Belarus? Oh, the, the Knights of St. John just declared war on me. I, I thought we were already at war. Oh my god. They just landed an actual army here. An actual... How did you get there? Yeah, unsurprisingly, landing an entire army on an island and then having nowhere to retreat to doesn't go too well for you. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, looks like I, I got a bit lost. Uh, this isn't uh, Trinidad. Oh yeah, this is definitely not the Caribbean. Uh, I, I appear to... Oh, they accepted my surrender. Of course they did. Anything but England, am I right? Uh, <laughs> so did Ireland. Ireland also. Not a big fan of those English people. Question is though, does London also hate English people? I... Why is all... Are you joking? How many turns are we in and you're still using so much pikemen? Well, obviously they wouldn't surrender because they were so confident that their pikemen were going to win the battle for them because it is state-of-the-art technology. It's a big long stick with a pointy bit of metal on the end and how on earth could it possibly lose to any... Oh, look right there. It's dead. Well, I, I can kind of technically consider that a surrender, I suppose. Oh, well, unlike Ireland or Scotland who loved me, uh, the, the lower population actually hates me a little here, but the, the higher ups still loving me. So once you beat a major power in Europe, they actually get rid of all their colonies too. You don't get them, but they break free. But because uh, Britain owns, you know, the Baltic and Belarus, it means it doesn't count as an annexation. And we actually have to go there and take them out. And uh, yeah, I went bankrupt to do it. But it does mean if we go over to America now, yep, there you go. The USA is free and they're, they're at war with us. So it doesn't matter, does it? Although taking everything in the Americas is so easy because everything just surrenders to my superior pirate my. You know what, Portugal has a very interesting strategy to have your general as a cannon. Uh, one that doesn't move at that. Oh my, this is the worst thing ever. Not only is it dark, it's foggy, and it's raining. Are you kidding me? Ah, a pirate's light for me. Yeah, because when I sort of just tipped the balance of Europe quite a little bit, I wasn't expecting the Dutch to just take over literally 
everything. Is this what happens when, like, you take Britain out of the equation? Because they were already powerful before this. Well, there's not really much left for me to conquer here, so I'm just going to go ahead and have a quick visit to St. Petersburg. Oh my god, are you kidding me? They have grenade launching rifles. Why the hell don't I have those? Oh, never mind. As soon as they, they saw my bomb throwers, they uh they immediately just turned tail and ran. These guys didn't turn tail and run, though. Although, um... They probably should have now that they, uh, they're looking at what's being thrown at them. God, I love war crimes. Oh, battle out the way in St. Petersburg. Will you accept surrender? They did. Oh, that's a bit of a disappointing end. Uh, as soon as I took St. Petersburg, the game kept crashing, which I assumed was going to happen at some point because I don't think the pirates are 100% playable. But uh, I guess this is the end. Uh, if you enjoyed this video... Feel free to leave a like and subscribe button. Sorry if it's not as long as the usual episodes. I don't know how long I've been recording this or how much content there is. But uh, hopefully you still enjoyed it. Uh, leave me any more nations you want to see me play. Or any more mods for Empire Total War. Or any other Total Wars for that matter. But uh, I guess until next time guys. Uh, shiver me timbers. <laughs>